Good morning class. In today's English class, we will continue with the book exercises of chapter 22. That is simple future tense and future continuous tense. So, let's start. In the very first exercise, it says, fill in the blanks with the simple future form of the given verb. Now, children, there are 16 sentences. And in bracket, in yellow color, the first form of the verb has already been given to you. So what are you supposed to do? You know that in simple future form, you use the first form of the verb and the helping verb that is shall or will. So jaha pe bhi subject I ya V hai, waha pe aap shall ka use karenge and the first form of the verb. And in all the other sentences, you will put will with the first form of the verb. So let's start. Now they will shift to Mumbai next year. I shall study hard this year. Don't disturb the dog. It will bite you. He will return your books within a week. Our class will perform a ballet. The ice will not melt soon. The cake will be ready in 20 minutes. I am sure that my sister will stop the class. Eco club of our school will organize tree plantation drive. Mrs. Satya Bose will guide the students. He will handle the matter confidently. Mrs. Kusum will teach our class next year. Mr. R.B. Pal will retire next year. The birds will lay egg in the nest. Then, next one is, will you join us tonight? Now, it's a question, interrogative sentence. So, helping verb will come first. Will you and the first form of the verb join? Pankaj will go to the party on Friday. So what are we doing? It's very simple exercise. You just have to put will or shall and the first form of the verb that are given here. Now coming to change these sentences into simple future tense. So children, whenever you are asked to change a sentence in different tense, you have to first find the verb. Apele verb find kariye. Usko appropriate form mein change kariye and use the helping verb accordingly. Right? The bus leaves at 8.30. Now, leaves is verb but you have to use the root form only. So, you have to put change it into leave and leave se pehle aapko will lagana padega. So, the bus will leave at 8.30 a.m. Right? He locks the door when I go. Now, there are two verbs, locks and go. So, locks will be changed to lock and you will write will lock. Go is already in first form, but you will write will go. So, he will lock the door when I will go. We watch the movie at home. What is the verb? Watch. It's already in the first form. So, you will just put shall. We shall watch the movie at home. It is raining tonight. Raining. Raining is, change it into the first form, rain. And is will be changed to will. It will rain tonight. I talk to you later. Talk is the verb. It's already in the first form. So you will be putting just shall. I shall talk to you later. They stay. At school for extra classes. What is the verb? Stay. So you will put will in front of it. So they will stay at school for extra classes. The weather is fine today. The weather will be fine today. Right? Because here is will be changed to be. And it will be, will be fine today. The children share their views in the class. The children will share. Share is a verb. So, will share their views in the class. 
You reach the auditorium by 6 p.m. Reach is verb already in the first form. Just put will. You will reach the auditorium by 6 p.m. Clear? So find the verb, change them into the root form and put will and shall accordingly. Now fill in the blanks with the future continuous tense. And you know in future continuous tense you have to use will be or shall be plus first form of the verb and ing. So verb is already given here. They are in the root form. In ke aage bas ing lagana hai. And before these verbs you have to put will be or shall be. So he will be watching the comedy show at night. They will be conducting the auditions for the play very soon. She will be inaugurating this showroom. I shall be leaving for Manali in the coming week. People will be taking the autograph. They will be clicking the selfie with the film star. India will be inviting other countries for Make in India project. The principal will be hoisting the national flag. Mother will be waiting for us. We shall be rehearsing for the theme song. The students will be performing the mock drill. They will be participating in disaster management workshop. So just put will be and shall be. Will ko aap sab jage uniformity se use kar sakte hain. And for using the shall, you have to only use before I and V. Then ing form with the first form of the verb. Now coming to the last exercise. Rewrite the sentences changing the tense into future continuous tense. Now he will swallow the medicine. So again you have to do the same thing. Find out the verb. In future continuous tense you have to use first form with ing. So jo bhi verb hai usko aap first form mein change karke ing mein banaiye. And then before that add will be or shall be. So here it is swallow. So already in the first form so it will become swallowing. And after will, you'll be adding be. So he will be swallowing the medicine. They are having the breakfast. Having is already in ing form. So just change are to will be. They will be having breakfast. He was working. Now working is already in ing form. So if was ko aapko will be me convert karna hai. He will be working hard for better grades. We are traveling to Paris. Traveling Again in ing already it is there. So just change R to shall be. We shall be because we ke saath shall ka use karte hain. So we shall be traveling to Paris. She will talk. Now talk is the verb. It is in the first form. Just put ing. So she will be talking to her mother on phone. Right. So these are the book exercises. You have to complete it in Thank you.